Hello, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Welcome. How are you guys? How are you doing? Okay, let me do something. Okay. Hello, for the ones who are joining, welcome. Okay, let me see. Now we have only solamente cuatro me han ingresado por el momento. I don't know what happened with the rest. I hope they're okay. Bueno, thank you so much, guys, for your punctuality. Gracias por su puntualidad. Yo aprecio mucho eso, ya que eso es demuestra mucho, ¿verdad? Y pues demuestra mucho su voluntad y su interés. Por aprender algo nuevo, ¿verdad? So we are going to start with today's class. Welcome for the ones who joined um, recently. We are going to start now with the class. Vamos a empezar con la clase de hoy. And I just want to um, just want to say something. I've been checking your practice. Estuve revisando su tarea. Lo han hecho muy, muy bien, súper bien. Creo que ustedes... Eh, están avanzando bastante rápido en cuanto a esto, ya que el tema de la hora eh, tiende a ser un poquito difícil. But as, as long as I've been reading your practice, I can, I notice that you are working very, very well. Puede ver que ustedes están trabajando muy, muy bien de acuerdo a su práctica. Sé que no la he, he visto la de todos, ¿verdad? Pero eh, esperaría que en la plataforma sí estén desempeñándose súper bien. So, thank you so much, guys, for your participation in the group, por su participación en el grupo. Yo siempre aprecio todo eso, ya que me demuestra mucho lo, la voluntad, ¿verdad? So, we are going to start now. Y vamos a continuar con el tema de present continuous. Present continuous is a topic, uh, is a tense, as you remember, is a topic that it means that an event, action, or something is happening right now. ¿verdad? Cuando un evento, una acción está sucediendo ahora mismo. Entonces, as you remember, we can call it el presente continuo, present continuous, or we can call it the gerund. El gerundio, we can call it present uh, progressive, presente progresivo, y pues tenemos eso, ¿verdad? So we are going to start now with the word power. In this word power, I will need your help. I will need you to help me to, um, to create sentences. So the question is, what are they doing? What are they doing? ¿Qué están haciendo ellos, right? Entonces tenemos por acá, number one, as, as you can see here, he's playing tennis, he's playing tennis. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a empezar esta actividad y lo que vamos a hacer es agregarle el ing al verbo, ¿verdad? ¿Y qué más? Agregarle si es él, ella y el verbo to be que le corresponde, right? So, now that we have here... We have the first one as an example. We have played tennis and we have he's playing tennis. He's playing tennis. So who wants to help me with the second one? What is she doing? What is she doing? Do you remember? Present continue. He's writing a bike. Very good. She is riding a bike. Riding a bike. Very, very good. Now, what about the next one? What about run? How would you create a sentence? What is he or she doing? She running in the park. Running 
in the park. No se olviden del presente, de, sorry, del verbo to be, ok? She is or she's, she's running in the park. Very good. What about this one? What is he doing? What is he doing? He is swimming in the pool. Very good. He is swimming in the pool. Excellent. Very good. What about this one? What is she doing? What's she doing? Do you know? What is she doing? This is a little bit confusing, right? What is she doing? She's taking a walking. Okay, good. Eso puede ocurrir, ¿verdad? I'm going to explain you something. Les voy a explicar algo que les, es como un tip para ustedes aprender a diferenciar eh, ciertas cosas, ¿verdad? We have two verbs here. Tenemos dos verbos acá. Tenemos take y tenemos walk. Ustedes saben que los verbos pueden ser sustantivos y los sustantivos pueden ser verbos. O sea, un sustantivo puede ser un verbo también. Por ejemplo, water. La palabra water, agua, es un sustantivo, ¿verdad? Por ende, eh, podemos decir que la palabra water es un verbo también, que significa regar. Water the plants, regar las plantas, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo mismo sucede con los verbos. Los verbos pueden ser sustantivos. Entonces, en este caso, walk, a walk, si se fijan, un, un walk, tenemos ahí, a walk, significa eh, paseo o caminata. Walk, cuando trabaja de sustantivo, significa paseo o caminata, a walk. Entonces, el verbo que lo vamos a conjugar es take, porque ese es el único verbo que tenemos, ¿verdad? Take a walk, taking a walk. She is taking a walk. Ella está tomando un paseo o ella está tomando una caminata. <clears throat> That's the way we should read it. What about the next one? What about, what are they doing? They are dancing. Dance. Very good. They are dancing. Excellent. They are dancing. What about this one? What is she doing? She is driving on the street. Very good. She is driving on the street. Excellent. Now we have drive. What about go to the movies? What are they doing? What are they doing? <clears throat> what do you think? Someone else? They are going to the movies. Very good. They are going to the movies. Excellent. Now let's move to the next one. What's he doing? What is he doing? He is shopping. Very good. He is shopping. He is shopping. Excellent. What about this one? What is she doing? She is reading a book. Excellent. She is reading a book. Very, very good. What about the next one? What is she doing? What is she doing? This may be tricky, right? Because we have a Y at the end. She is studying. She is studying. Okay. Más adelante vamos a ver con la terminación de ciertas palabras, ¿verdad? She is studying. She's studying. What about this one? What is he doing? <clears throat> what is he 
Do you know? He is watching a television. Okay, very good. He is watching television. Excellent. He's watching television. Ahora una vez más tenemos. He is playing tennis. She is riding a bike. She is running in the park. He is swimming in the pool. She is taking a walk. Esta palabra se lee sin la L, ¿verdad? Walk. She's taking a walk. They are dancing. They are dancing. She is driving. She is driving. They are going to the movies. They are going to the movies. He is shopping in the supermarket. She is reading a book. She is reading a book. She is studying for the exam. She is studying. He is watching television. He is watching television. Uh, okay, we are going to continue una vez más con esto de acá. Do you remember this? Esto lo hicimos la clase anterior. We, we completed, but what does it mean? Significa que tenemos una vez más el present continuum. Significa que podemos diferenciar ciertas cosas. Por ejemplo, eh, too many questions over there. Podemos, eh, podemos decir, how can you use the present continuous? ¿Cómo lo podemos utilizar, verdad? Y acá tenemos, she's sleeping. She's sleeping right now. Tenemos la palabra por acá, sleeping. Getting up. Si se fijan, there are certain words that they include uh, double letter. Tenemos ciertas palabras que incluyen doble letra, o sea, doblan, eh, ¿cómo les digo? Duplican la letra que tienen al final, ¿verdad? Para poder agregarle el ing. As an example, getting up. They're having, having breakfast. She's going, going to work. What are James and I doing? It's noon, so they're having Having lunch. To have lunch significa almorzar, ¿verdad? Very good. Now we have working. He is working. Working, ING por ahí. Tenemos, uh, he's eating dinner right now. Eating. We have watching, one more time. Watching. And as you can see here, hay algunas, no en todas, ¿verdad? Pero... El, esto es un ejemplo de que podemos duplicar la última letra si lo requiere, ¿verdad? Entonces, estos serán algunos ejemplos. What else can we say? Yo puedo decir, she's sleeping in her bed. Podemos decir, she's wearing a pajama. She is wearing a pillow. Podemos decir, she is sleeping in her room. What can we say about him? He is wearing a pajama. He is getting up, como esta de acá. He is, um, we, okay, we can say he is uh, going to work. We can say about this. Uh, they are, por ejemplo, en este de acá, ambos, they are having breakfast. But what else can we say? She is reading the newspaper. She is drinking her tea. He is cutting her breakfast. Well, they are uh, having breakfast, uh, watching the city. Now, can we say she is going to work? She is wearing a red suit. Ella está usando un traje rojo, right? She is opening the door. She's opening the door. He is looking at her. He is looking at her. Él está observando, ¿verdad? She is using a blue bag. What else can we say about them? They are having lunch. They are drinking tea. They are drinking tea. They are um, smiling. They are smiling. They are looking each other. Looking up each other. What else can we say about him? He's working, okay? He's working. 
What else? He's reading a he's reading a brochure. Está leyendo un folleto, ¿verdad? He's reading a brochure. He is working on his desk. He is sitting on his chair. What else can we say about him? He's eating dinner right now. Pero qué podemos decir también? He is wearing a white shirt. Él está usando una camisa blanca. He is using a fork. Él está usando un eh, tenedor. He is eh, drinking milk. He is drinking milk. Eso podemos decir también. What else can we say about him? He is watching television. We can say he is uh, he is tapping in the control. He is sitting in his red chair. And what else can we say? Okay, ahí tenemos algunas de las cosas that we can we can say we can express using the present continuous. So we are going to continue. Okay, what are we going to do? Se acuerdan de todo lo que estábamos viendo, ¿verdad? De los anteriores. We are going to ask and answer the questions about the pictures. The first one, who's sleeping now? Who's sleeping now? As an example. ¿Se acuerdan? En este caso se trata de memorizar, ¿verdad? Who's sleeping now? Vamos a, lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a, let's go back, vamos a regresar. Y vamos a responder, por ejemplo, si la pregunta dice, who's sleeping now? Vamos a decir, Victoria is sleeping right now. ¿Sí? Ok. En este caso, we are going to participate. We are going to be part of the class too. Vamos a ser parte de la clase también. So, let's take a look one more time here. It's an example, Victoria. The first question, who's sleeping right now? Victoria is sleeping right now. I see. So what about the next question? Who's having breakfast? Who's having breakfast? Can you help me to participate? Who, who's having breakfast? First, first up. Okay, are you sure? Permsak? No, no, no. Okay. SBM. Okay, okay. Who's having breakfast? Do you know? What about Sue them? and Tom having breakfast? Yes, yeah, Sue and Tom are having breakfast. Okay, don't forget about the bird to be. Very, very good. There we have the second one. What about the third one? Where's Andre working? Where's Andre working? We're talking about him, right? Where's Andre working? Do you remember that WH word? Where? He's working from Moscow. Okay, he's working in Moscow. Moscow, right? We have Moscow in Spanish and Moscow in English. Very good. Andrew is working in Moscow. Y podemos decir también, he's working, Andrew is working in the office, right? In the office or in Moscow. Very, very good. Then next question, it says, where's Hiroshi watching television? Where's Hiroshi watching television? Can you tell me? This one. Where's Hiroshi watching television? Okay, we can say the country as Elvira said in Moscow. We can say Hiroshi is watching television in Tokyo. Podemos decir in Tokyo. También podemos decir Hiroshi is watching television in his house. Un ejemplo, ¿verdad? En su casa, ¿verdad? Very good. Now we have the next question. What's Celia wearing? What's Celia wearing? What's Celia wearing? 
¿Qué está usando Celia? What Celia wearing? Do you know? She is wearing a dress. Okay, good. What else? She's wearing a dress. What else? Si no es, si no es un vestido, what could it be? ¿Qué más podría ser? Coat. Okay, good. A coat. Pero se acuerdan que cuando, when we have a coat and we have a skirt together, they are a suit. Juntos son un traje, right? Podemos decir, Celia is wearing a suit. Or we can say, Celia is wearing a red suit. Un traje rojo, ¿verdad? A red suit. Very good. Now we have here the, the other question. What's Marcos wearing? What's Marcos wearing? What's Marcos wearing? Marcos is in Mexico City. What's he wearing? Do you know? Marcos is wearing a pajama. Very good. Marcos is wearing a pajama. Excellent. There we are. Now we have the next question. And it is, why is Marcos getting up? Why is Marcos getting up? Why? Do you remember that word? Why? Why is Marcos getting up? Get up means levantarse, ¿verdad? Get up significa levantarse. Entonces, why is Marcos getting up? Marcos is getting up because he is going to work. Excellent. Very, very good. Marcos is getting up because he's going to work. Excellent. Thank you so much. What about the other questions? This is the last question. Why are James and Anne having lunch? Why are James and Anne having lunch? James and Anne. Why are they are them having lunch? Why? This is very tricky, right? Because there are too many answers. Why? Why are they getting up? Oh, sorry, why are they having lunch? Why are they having lunch? ¿Qué podríamos decir para eso? What comes to your mind when you when I make that question? ¿Qué se les viene a la mente cuando yo les hago esa pregunta? Because it's your breakfast. Okay. We can say they are having lunch. O podemos decir James and Anne are having lunch because it's lunch time. Podemos decir así, ¿verdad? Podemos decir que ellos están almorzando porque es hora de almuerzo. What else? We can say James and Anne are having lunch because they are hungry. Porque ellos tienen hambre. That's easy, right? Because they are hungry. Very good. So that's any, everything. Okay, acá tenemos todas esas preguntas. Yo sé que hay muchas más preguntas para hacer. Así como yo les mencioné al inicio, que hay muchas cosas para señalar de utilizando el presente continuo. En este caso, solamente tenemos ocho preguntas. So we are going to continue. Y como pueden ver acá, tenemos la fórmula. For all the tenses, we have formulas. And as I mentioned before, we have three different ways to use that tense, to conjugate that tense. Bueno, tenemos tres formas de conjugar esos tiempos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, affirmative. Negative and interrogative, que les dije que afirmativo le podemos decir también como la manera positiva, 
luego tenemos la manera negativa y luego la manera interrogativa, o sea, una pregunta, right? Entonces, para el presente continuo, we, you, uh, we need, necesitamos los elementos de siempre, ¿verdad? We need a subject, we need a subject, we need the verb to be, the verb to be, we need the verb in gerund, we need the complement. In negative, we have the subject to, we need the verb to be, we need the word not to mention that is negative, We need the verb in gerund or the verb in present continuum. And we need a complement. When it's interrogative, we need verb to be first. Esa es la regla, ¿verdad? We need to change the verb to be with the subject. Verb to be plus subject plus verb in gerund plus the complement. So what are we going to do? Let's create sentences. Creemos oraciones utilizando los elementos de estas fórmulas. In this case, I will need your help just to create those sentences. Para crear esas oraciones, necesitaré su ayuda. Let's make this one with affirmative. I need a subject. What, a, what subject can you give me? ¿Qué tipo de sujeto me pueden dar? Sí. So, Okay, good. We have she. I need the verb to be. The verb to be of she. Is. Is. Yes, very good. She is. Now I need a verb in ing form or in gerund. Un verbo en in con ing. Playing. Can you repeat? Playing. Playing. Good. She's playing. Now a compliment. She's playing. Video okay. games with, he, with her friends. Okay, good. Video games with her friends. Very good. Now we have there. We have a subject, she. We have the verb to be is. We have the verb in gerund or in ing form, playing. We have the complement, video games with her friends. Excellent. Now we need to create one for the negative. Necesitamos una para negativo, right? What do we need? We need a subject. We need a verb to be. We need the word not, the verb in gerund, and the complement. What subject can you give me? Do you remember? ¿Se acuerdan qué tipo de sujetos podemos utilizar? Tenemos los pronombres, nombres propios. Tenemos eh, los sustantivos también y podemos tener lugares, ¿verdad? What a kind of subject can you give me? Do you know? Un sujeto. A subject. The dog. Okay. The dog. Good. Good. The dog. Now the verb to be. ¿Cuál sería el verbo to be? The dog. The dog. Is. Good. The dog is. The word not. Que para, para el negativo no debe de faltar, ¿verdad? The word not. Now a verb in ing form. What verb with in ing form can you give me? Sleeping now. Okay. Good. There we are. The dog is not sleeping now. The name was the dog is the subject. The verb to be is. Is the word not and the verb in gerund sleeping and the complement is now. Very, very good. Thank you so much. Now let's create an interrogative. It means a question. How can you start a question using the present continuous? What do we need first? We need a uh, verb. Okay, good. R. Now we need a subject. Okay. 
Okay, are they? What else? A verb in gerund, right? We need the verb. Fighting. Fighting. Okay, fighting. Now the complement. What else? Are they fighting? On the street. Okay, on the street. Very good. Now we have the verb to be are. We have the subject, they, the verb in gerund, fighting, the complement on the street. Are they fighting on the street? What's missing? ¿Qué nos falta para esa última? Question mark. Very good. We need a question mark porque es una pregunta, ¿verdad? So here we have, are they fighting on the street? We have, están ellos peleando en la calle? Very good, guys. Excellent. Excellent job. Okay, very good. Hasta aquí. Do you have a question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Anything? It's clear. It's clear, okay. So here we have one more time. The examples. I am reading a book. I am reading a book. She is not paying attention. She's not paying attention. Are you calling your mother? Are you calling your mother? ¿Se acuerdan de esta? Esta es una just now question. Por ende, subimos la intonation, right? Are you calling your mother? Así. So here we have affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Y así se puede conjugar el presente continuo. Now, I'm going to explain some rules for the present continuous. Para el presente continuo, tenemos unas reglas también, ¿verdad? We have the rule number one. And it says, todos los verbos que terminan en ing. O sea, esa es una regla, ¿verdad? All the verbs ending in ing are for the present continuum. As an example, the elephant is playing in the water. The elephant is playing in the water. Here we have the verb in ing form. Significa que estamos en el presente continuo, ¿verdad? ¿Qué otra cosa nos puede... Eh, podemos identificar del presente continuo aparte del verbo en ing. Do you remember? ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Qué más necesitamos? Si ya tenemos el verbo en ing, ¿qué más nos está diciendo que esta oración está en ing form? Sorry, que está en presente continuo. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más es importante ver para poder decir que es presente continuo? You... Because we are using the verb to be. Excellent. Estamos usando el verbo to be en presente, ¿verdad? No lo estamos utilizando en pasado. Porque existe un pasado continuo. Entonces, pueda que se confunda. Pero la, la cosita que podemos utilizar para identificarlo es mirar primero el verbo to be. Si está en presente o si está en pasado. Si dice, the elephant was was playing in the water, está hablando del pasado, por ende será un pasado continuo. En este caso tenemos el presente continuo. Excelente. Thank you so much. Now we have rule number two. Cuando un verbo termina en consonante, se debe, oops, sorry, let me, let me, okay. Cuando un verbo termina en consonante, se debe duplicar la última letra para agregar la terminación ing. Es como sucedió anteriormente, right? We have here the jaguar. The jaguar is running. Run es el verbo. Se le duplicó una letra porque así dice la regla número dos, que si termina en consonante, se le duplica para poder agregarle la terminación ing. Run. Se le agregó la N plus the ING form. Lo mismo que podíamos ver por acá. Do you remember? Here we have esta de acá. Run, running. Tenemos acá, termina en consonante. Se le duplica la letra, la última letra y se le agrega ING 
swimming. Tenemos por acá, um, going, acá tenemos otra que termina en esa, ¿verdad? Esa termina en consonante. So we have here. Cuando tenemos de estas así, las que esta también termina en consonante, pero no se duplica, es porque no entra entre esa, en la categoría de esa regla, ¿verdad? So here we have reading, reading, solo con esa D, no se duplica. ¿Por qué? Porque esta termina, eh, por ejemplo, tenemos una vocal, tenemos más vocales que, y tenemos la consonante. Por ende, read sounds like just one syllable, read. Suena como una sola sílaba, ¿verdad? Entonces, en esta shopping, sonarían dos, ¿verdad? Reading. Entonces, a esta sí se le duplica la última letra y se le agrega ing. A esta de acá, study, simplemente se le agrega la, el ing. Se le agrega el ing. Studying. Studying. Así. So, we are going to continue with the rules. So, here we have the Jaguar is running. Now we have rule number three. Rule number three, si el verbo termina en I, muda, se elimina esta letra y se coloca la terminación ING. Do you know what is the I muda, la, la E muda? Es toda aquella que suena, por ejemplo, acá. Here, right, la E es muda, por ende, cuando le vayamos a agregar el ing, le vamos a quitar esa e y le vamos a colocar el ing. Lo mismo tenemos para take. Take, le vamos a quitar esa e que es muda y le vamos a agregar el ing. Lo mismo para dance, lo mismo para drive, ¿verdad? Entonces, así vamos a hacer. So, that's the example that we already have there. They are dancing cumbias. They are dancing cumbias. That's it. That if the verb ends in E, in a mute E, it will be deleted and we're going to replace with the ing. So here we have they are dancing cumbias. We have rule number one, rule number two, rule number three, and then we have the elephant is playing in the water, the jaguar is running, they are dancing cumbias. We have a rule number four. What it says? It says, los verbos que terminan en doble E conservan esta terminación y agregan al final ING. Example, I am seeing my lawyer next Monday. I'm seeing my lawyer next Monday. Quiere decir, seen. Puede ser también, también agree, agreeing. Así, ¿verdad? So, That's the rule. Cuando tiene doble E, ten, le vamos a conservar esa, esas dos letritas. Sí. Y le vamos a agregar simplemente el ING. Now we have rule number five. Verbos terminados en IE colocan en su lugar una Y. Plus the ING. As an example, he is lying to his boss. He is lying to his boss. Esta palabra, déjenme escribirla acá. I'm going to write it for you. La palabra en presente simple es lie. 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 ¿Qué sucede? Tenemos acá que termina en IE, as the rule says. Termina en IE, por ende, vamos a cambiárselo por una Y y le vamos a agregar el ing, por ejemplo, lie, a la palabra die, por ejemplo, morir, die. Vamos a hacer eso, dying. Así. That's, that's the rule. And that's the example. He is lying to his boss. Okay, very good. Hasta acá. Do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta de las reglas? Or is it clear? Okay. Very good. We are going to listen to the conversation. Vamos a escuchar un video. Vamos a escuchar una conversación. 
muy, muy uh, atentos porque because we are going to need to give an answer to some questions. Vamos a necesitar responder algunas preguntas más adelante. So let me share my screen. Les voy a compartir la pantalla. Okay, there we are. Just let me know. Déjenme saber si pueden ver esa pantalla, la pantalla que pues estoy presentando. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good. Let me play this for you. Okay, good. Hi everyone, in this class you'll read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. So let's get started. Reading. Friends across a continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute, where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait, my mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, very good. Let me go back to the slideshow. Just allow me one minute. Okay. There we are. I hope you you uh you could listen to the conversation. Espero que hayan podido escuchar la conversación. It was between two girls. One was in at her house and what and one of them was at a cyber cafe here we are and this is about as i mentioned they are telling each other what are they doing and they we can see here we are using the present continuous right we have skimmed the conversation write the name of the correct person under each picture que vamos a hacer skim it Skim, if you don't know that, skim is, an, is, a, is a technique we use to read. Es una técnica que utilizamos para, para, um, para leer, pero para, por ejemplo, when you have long test, texts, so you can use a technique just to give an answer. Cuando, cada vez que ustedes tengan unos grandes textos, y luego tengan preguntas, esta es una técnica. Skim es buscar como palabras claves, right? Palabras claves. As an example, here we have Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online most almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She's studying in Mexico. Kathy is in the U.S. <clears throat> Very good. Here we have Meg. Meg. No les voy a decir quién es quién, right? Because you need, we need to read it, okay? So, I will need two volunteers. Voy a necesitar dos voluntarios 
uno que me ayude a leer el de Meg y otro que me ayude a leer el de Kathy. What do you think? Any volunteer? Okay. If no volunteer, I'm going to choose it. Lo voy a escoger yo, right? What about you, Marjorie? Can you help me with Mac? And let me see, Moises, can you help me with Kathy? Okay. Okay, let, let, we're going to start with Marjorie. Espero que sí esté por ahí, right? Parece que no. Since Marjorie, she's not there. Let me choose another one. What about, okay. Okay, just let me check. Oh, okay, no te preocupes, Marjorie. Espero que te mejores pronto. What about you, Alvira? Do you want to help me? Can you be Mac? Okay. Okay. Okay, you will be Mac and Moises will go, he's going to be Kathy. So you can start. Hi there. Hi Mac. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an easy for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute, where are you? Um, I am an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I am having coffee and she's reading a mag magazine. Who is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's 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 mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. What is your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh wait, my mother mother is home. She's send. Can we thank you, Ryan? She's calling. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Very good. Thank you so much. That was a very good participation. Ahí pueden ver, tenemos different, uh, different sites. Tenemos, están, cada una está en un lugar totalmente diferente, right? So we have Meg. Hi there. Kathy. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? ¿Se acuerdan? What are you working on? Baja un poquito, ¿verdad? I'm writing essay. Esta palabra es ensayo, ¿verdad? Essay for Spanish class. Can you chat for a minute? Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How, how is your family? How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Mowing the lawn significa cortando el césped. Podando el césped. He's mowing the lawn. Él está cortando el césped. My mother is out shopping. My mother is out shopping. Está afuera de compras. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye, bye. Okay, now the question says, write the name of the correct person under each picture. Vamos a, vamos a responder estas preguntas. Here we have, read the conversation and then answer the questions. Who is, 
who is writing an essay. ¿Se acuerdan? Who is writing an essay? ¿Quién estaba escribiendo un ensayo? Was it Meg or was it Kathy? Kathy or Brian. Kathy, good. Kathy, we're going to place it here. Who is having a coffee? Who is having a coffee? Meg. Meg, right? Okay, good. Who is reading a magazine? Who is reading? Carmen. Carmen, very good. Carmen, good. What about who is working outside? Who's working outside? Her father. Okay, we are, we can say the quién, el papá de quién, right? Kathy's father. Kathy. Good, Kathy's father. ¿Se acuerdan de esto, del apostrofe? La letra S significa que pertenece a esta persona, pero como no podemos poseer a las personas, es que tiene una relación con esa persona. Es su papá. So, who is shopping? Who is shopping? Kathy's mother. Kathy's mother. Very good. Kathy's mother. And now, who is playing soccer? Who is playing soccer? John mm. O'Brien. John. Good. Very good. There we have Kathy, Meg, Carmen, Kathy's father, Kathy's mother, John, or Kathy's brother, right? Very good. Excellent. Let's check one more time. Oh, sorry. And that's correct. There we are. Okay, she's she's working in an essay. Kathy, here we have uh, reading a magazine and having coffee. There we are. Father's his fa her father is working outside. Uh, her mother is out shopping. Her brother is not home, and her and his name is John. He's playing soccer. Very good, excellent, guys. So. I want to say something about it. Ahora les voy a eh, mencionar algo de esto. Los verbos, como les mencioné anteriormente, esto nada más es un plus. Es un plus ya de la clase. Veo que sí ya han mejorado totalmente lo del presente continuo. Y pues tenemos por acá algunos verbos. ¿Se acuerdan de los verbos eh, dinámicos? Los verbos dinámicos, all, all of those verbs that require, uh, que requieren movimiento que requieren movimiento de alguna parte de nuestro cuerpo. Por ejemplo, eat, uh, fly, por ejemplo, uh, puede ser eh, drink, que requiere cualquier movimiento, ¿verdad? Puede ser take, puede ser um, incluso sleep, porque utilizamos nuestro cuerpo, right? Pero tenemos otro tipo de verbos. Tenemos los verbos estáticos, que aquellos verbos que no requieren movimiento, por ejemplo, believe, creer, es un verbo, no requiere cu eh, cualquier movimiento, ¿verdad? No requiere movimiento, por ende, es un estático y es parte de los verbos estados emocionales o mentales. Esos son los verbos estáticos. We have emotions or feelings, we have sensations, sensaciones, communication, comunicación y acá tenemos otros estados, ¿verdad? Entonces, Believe, creer, también es un estado, es un verbo estático. Así como lo es dislike, dislike que significa disgustar. Doubt, doubt, dudar. Tenemos imagine, imagine, imaginar. No, no, saber. Like, gustar. Love, amar. Hate. Odiar, prefer, preferir, realize, notar o darse cuenta. O oh, esta palabra es muy común, realize. Puede decir usted, I realized that it was not my fault. Por ejemplo, me di cuenta de que no era mi culpa. I realized. Entonces, realize. Tenemos in sensations. We have appear, aparecer, appear. 
hear, hear, oír, see, ver, seem, parecer, smell, leer, sound, sonar, taste, saber de sabor. Sensaciones también son estáticos, ¿verdad? Communication. As an example, agree, estar de acuerdo, agree, astonish, astonish, asombrar, deny, deny, negar, disagree, disagree, no estar de acuerdo, impress, impress, impresionar, mean, significar, mean, please, complacer, promise, prometer. Now we have another state. Tenemos otros estados. We have be, cero estar, es un verbo estático, ¿verdad? Porque el verbo ser simplemente no, simplemente no requiere cualquier movimiento de eso de ser, ¿verdad? Tenemos belong, pertenecer, belong, concern, concernir. Concern es preocupar, ¿verdad? Preocupar, concernir. Consist, consistir. Contain, contener. Cost, costar. Depend, depender. Deserve, merecer. Estos son algunos. Por acá tengo otros. Estos también son de esta parte de acá, que son estados emocionales o mentales. We have recognize, recognize, reconocer, remember, remember, recordar, suppose, suppose, suponer, understand, entender, understand. We have want, querer, wish, desear. We have satisfy, satisfacer, surprise, sorprender, include, incluir, involve, involucrar, lack, faltar, matter, importar, importar de que mi, a mí me importa, right? No de importations, right? Entonces, import, importar otro país es another verb, pero matter es de importar, por ejemplo, Doesn't matter, no importa, no importa. O sea que no nos importa en el aspecto eh, que es hacia nosotros, right? Need, necesitar, o deber. La palabra es deber. I owe you money. Por ejemplo, I owe you money, te debo dinero. O own, tener, own, tener. Possess, poseer. Possess, poseer. Very good. Hasta aquí, guys. Do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Or is it clear? Yo confío que ustedes sí lo tienen muy claro, lo del presente continuo, ¿verdad? Porque lo he podido escuchar, bueno, al menos de la mayoría, right? Tenemos por acá la práctica. En este caso, For tonight's class will be no practice. No vamos a dejar práctica. ¿Por qué? Porque ustedes ya practicaron. Eh, bueno, ya practicamos en esta parte que era la que me interesó mucho en cuanto a de dar ejemplos, ¿verdad? Y también de utilizarlo. Voy a dejarlo así. Vamos a dejar así. Because tomorrow we'll be practicing one more time. Mañana vamos a practicar y pues lo vamos a dejar esta práctica de acá la vamos a dejar para el día de mañana, ya que eh, mañana, como les mencioné anteriormente, va a ser un, como un resumen de todos los topics, de todos los temas que hemos visto. This is in order for you to uh, practice or to remember anything. Ok. Ok, don't worry, si Marjorie les puedo enviar esta presentación, si les es de ayuda. Yo se las pueden ver con gusto. Se las pueden ver como les dije, que sería como ahí de las 11, ya que a esa hora termino de subir pues todo lo necesario. Y pues, do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna otra pregunta? Before we finish. Sí, yo tengo una preferencia. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se puede hacer para continuar con los cursos? 
no es automáticamente que puede seguir un próximo curso. O tienen que inscribirse. Ok, no le escuché el final, pero a curso se refiere, por ejemplo, este módulo, o se refiere a, a o a qué otra cosa se refiere. Hello, Elvira. Vamos al siguiente módulo. Ah, eh, al siguiente módulo, no. En este caso, chicos. Continuar, yes. Ok, en este caso necesitan usar este módulo primero y se les va a evaluar su desarrollo en la plataforma. Luego de eso se vuelven a comunicar con ustedes y ustedes pueden avanzar al siguiente módulo. Siempre se comunican con ustedes, siempre les envían información a sus correos o a sus números de teléfono les escriben si, pues, para continuar con el siguiente módulo. Como les dije al inicio, el requisito para continuar o para seguir es que usted tenga al menos el 80% en la plataforma, o sea, completo, y lo de la asistencia a las clases, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que necesita. Y ahí se evalúa, los coordinadores evalúan su progreso. Y así, pues, le dan su diploma. Bueno, el diploma lo obtiene al final, cuando ya haya terminado los módulos, ¿verdad? En este caso, usted finaliza módulo y pues se comunican con usted para avanzar con el otro. Así, y le dan fechas para empezar el otro módulo. Así es. So, any other question? ¿Ya no hay más preguntas? No. No questions. Okay, guys, so that's it for tonight's class. Thank you so much for your attention. Y pues que descansen y tengan una linda noche. Have a good night, guys. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Okay, bye-bye. Tomorrow.